configure 14.1 Function Template Specializations of Function Template Print Array. Back in Lesson 5, we first introduced the concepts of function templates. And what we did was we demonstrated that you could write a function definition once and let the compiler customize that function definition for each of several different data types that are used to call the function. And basically each of those custom versions are known as function template specializations. Here we want to revisit the concept of function templates and for that purpose we've defined a function called print array which is going to receive as its first parameter a pointer to some type of array uh, that represents what we would like to output in the print array function and then an integer which represents the number of elements within that array so that the print array function will know how many times to iterate in its loop. Now if you take a look at the print array function template definition you see here on line 8 that we begin with the template keyword followed by a set of angle brackets and then type name T in angle brackets announces that T is a generic type name that we'll be using inside the uh, definition of this function to represent whatever type of data it is we wish to output and for the print array function we use that type name T in place of whatever the regular type name would be and then the compiler is going to insert a type name here based on how we call the function. So if we call the function with an integer array T will be replaced with int. If we call it with an array of strings T will be replaced with the uh, C++ string class instead of just the generic type name T. Now it's important to note when you look at the body of this function what operators are being used within the body because that is going to restrict what data types can be used with this print array function. So you can see here that when we go and output elements of the array that we're receiving as a parameter we're using the overloaded output operator. So if I pass in an array of integers into this function that will work fine because it's already defined in the C++ libraries how to output an int using cout and the stream insertion operator. I could do the same with all of the different primitive types and for example I can use the C++ string class which has an overloaded output operator associated with it as well in this example. However if I create some random class let's say we create an employee class and we don't overload the stream insertion operator for that employee class then when we try to compile code that passes an employee array into this function the code will not compile. So there are some restrictions on using data types with templates and those restrictions often revolve around the operators that are used with elements uh, of an array that you pass in or a collection that you pass in or just individual objects that you pass to a function template. So you'll have to study the documentation for any templates you use to see what operator requirements they have to de decide whether or not you can use your data types with those templates. So in main of this example we create three constant integers that represent the sizes of several different arrays a count, b count, and c count. Then at lines 23 through 25 we create arrays a is an integer array with a count number of elements and they're initialized with the values from 1 through 5. b has b count number of elements of type double and they're initialized with 1.1 through 7.7 .7. and then the character array C is initialized with the string hello you notice that the string has five characters in it but we allocated six characters to the array to make room for the terminating null character at the end of the string literal now the next thing we do in our uh, program is we call print array three times once for each of the arrays with the appropriate uh, count specified as well and as you can see when we run this program it is indeed going to be able to output each of the integers each of the doubles and each of the characters separated by spaces now when the compiler looks at each of these uh, uh, function calls at line 30 for example the first thing it's going to do in the case of line 30 is look for a print array function that receives as its first parameter a, a pointer to an int or a an array of int 
parameter type, um, and then as its second parameter, an integer. And a is an array of int, which is why it can it can specify in the function that's being called either a pointer of type int or an, a one-dimensional array of type int as the parameter type. Now there is no such function already defined. However, there is a print array template that can be used to create a specialization that is customized for type int. And in this case, what the compiler will do is copy lines 9 through 15, substitute int for t, and then it will uh, compile that integer-based version of the print array function. If I have a subsequent call to print array that also receives an integer array as its first parameter and an int as its second uh, parameter, then it will simply reuse the already generated code. Similarly, down at line 35, it's going to look first for a function that can receive a double array and an int for the count. Since there is no such function, it will generate a copy of print array for the purpose of the call at line 35. And once again at line 40, it will generate a version of print array for care data type as well. So again, this is a new, another form of software reuse where in this case we define the capabilities once and we let the compiler reuse that code to generate custom versions of the function based on the data types that we pass to the function. In the next example, we'll show you how to apply these template concepts to a class.